Now that we have some materials applied to our surfaces, let's take a look at adding lights to our scenes. Now the lighting of our scenes are really going to go a long way in creating believability. Here you can see we have a basic scene set up and we do have some lighting obviously because we can see everything going on but right now what's happening is we're just using Maya's default lighting. So this is good for doing modeling and, and just kind of working on our scenes before we get to that lighting point. If we change our lighting in our viewport to use all lights, which will use all the lights in our scene, you can see it turns dark because we don't have any lights yet. We can hit 7 to go to that mode as well. So let's start to add some lights. We can do this by going to Create Lights, or we can use the Rendering tab here, and you can see the lights listed over here. Let's choose a Spotlight to start with. We'll click on that, and you can see that the Spotlight shows up there. Let's scale it up so we can see it a little bit better because our scene is rather large. You can see the light shining from this point along this particular cone. Now we can rotate that cone and you can see that light update. Another way to manipulate our lights is to actually pretend that we're looking through them and then look at what we want the light to shine on. To do that we'll go to panels, look through selected, and now we're looking through that light. So we can use our navigation keys to come in and figure out where we want to actually be for our light. Let's come in and kind of pull out a little bit, kind of off to the side, maybe something like that. Now we'll come back to the perspective view and we can see our light here coming from the side. Now you can see the cone and you can see how it's very sharp. If we hit Control A on our keyboard, that'll bring up our attribute editor and we can change the attributes of this particular light. We can change the intensity of the light we could change the color, make it a little bit more of a red light. We can also change the cone angle. You can see the light on the surface broaden, and you can also see that cone change. We can also change the penumbra angle. So if we increase that, it's going to soften up the edges of that particular light. If we'd like to add a little bit of drop off, we can do that as well. And we can also add decay to make it more realistic. We can still go back and rotate it to get the exact place that we want, but this light is good for uh, artificial lights, lights that need to have a sort of a cone shape uh, to those. Think of like a flashlight. Okay, let's delete that for a second, and let's go back in and add just a, let's add a point light. So we'll drop in a simple point light. And this is light that originates from one point and goes in all directions versus the light that we looked at earlier, which had a particular cone. And so we could come in and move this light around. And you can see it's sort of just a, uh, a sphere of light around that particular point. We could have this as some sort of a, a lamp or uh, as sort of interactive lighting where we could uh, have something glowing, a phone or part of the engine. We could have that emit a light in that way. And we have the same attributes that we can change color and intensity on that light. We don't have any of the cone settings though. Now another light that we want to use, and we'll actually use this to set up the scene, is a directional light. Let's bring in this directional light. Now a directional light you can think of more as like the sun. So it's coming from one direction, so we can change the direction it's coming from, but there's no sort of cone shape. It's sort of coming from everywhere going in that particular direction. So let's kind of add a light coming this way. So it doesn't matter where we place this in our scene. The only thing that matters is the rotation of it. So if I were to kind of move this around, it wouldn't modify anything at all. The only thing that matters is the direction that that light's coming from. So this would be more like a sun sort of light. Okay, so we could bring in something like that. We could come in and change the color of this. So let's maybe make this a little bit more yellow. We put a little bit more red into it. We'll desaturate that a little bit. Maybe something like that. And we can also increase the intensity. So make that a little bit brighter. And that gives us a good light coming in from this side. And you can see the shadows falling there. Now we're just looking at this in our viewport, but as we talk about rendering in the last lesson, we'll be able to get even better look for our lights. Now there's a lot of dark spaces here, and depending on the environment that you're going for, sometimes you'll want to fill that with a little bit more light. And so we can come in and let's use another directional light. 
but this time we'll point it in a slightly different direction. Let's scale that light up as well so we can see it a little bit better. And this one, I want to kind of move around and I want it to be a little bit more of a shallow angle coming in from the side. You can see that the shadows for that are showing up over here. If we go ahead and select our light and go to shadows, you can see that we have the shadows clicked on. If we'd like to turn off shadows for that particular light, we can do that. This will allow us to fill up some of those darker areas, but let's take the intensity down a little bit. So maybe down to 0.5 or so. And we can also go into the color and let's maybe add a little bit of a, a blue shift to that perhaps. So maybe something like that. The way that you set up lights is really up to you, but you can access those via the rendering shelf or create lights. And you've got those different uh, those different types of lights here. Just remember, and you got the icons kind of help. The spotlight is more like a flashlight with a cone that comes out that you can change. We also have a point light that sort of uh, emits light from a single point in space in all directions. The directional light, which um, creates light coming from a single direction. And then we also have an ambient light and the ambient light will just kind of create over an overall light in your scene. So kind of brighten everything uh, up and add a, bit of, a little bit of light to it. And then you also have area lights, uh, which you can experiment with on your own as well. Just remember too, if you create a spotlight and you want to place it by looking through it, all you have to do is select that spotlight, go to panels and look through selected. Now that we've taken a, a quick look at working with lights, let's take a look at rendering with Metal Ray. So that's taking our scene and creating final images out of that. Let's take a look at that next. <laughs>